Warning, these experiments deal with concentrated nitric acid. Wear gloves when handling it. This reaction also generates a large quantity of toxic nitrogen dioxide, so it must be carried out in a clean hood. Goodbye, mate. Today we'll be looking into the synthesis of silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is a very useful compound that is often used to prepare testing reagents to determine the presence of a certain chemical. Silver nitrate alone can be used to test the presence of ions in the hydrogen group, and the forms precipitate as the positive indication. In the future, I will prepare the tolerance reagent to make the silver experiment. To start things off, we only need two chemicals really. Some pure silver metal and the helium using 62% nitric acid. It will still work at a lower concentration, but it will take much longer to react and you are going to have to evaporate all the extra water. First, 20 ml of nitric acid is measured by using a graduating cylinder. Then I get my trophy balance to weigh out the mass of silver, which is about 11.275 grams. Well, this step was done long before I started anything else, so which allowed me to calculate the amount of acid is needed. But uh, you get me. Then get a beaker and pour in the acid that we prepared earlier on. And here's the silver. It's a bit of shame to destroy a piece of work like this, but some sacrifices have to be made for the sake of science. The silver is placed into the beaker and submerged in the acid. The silver immediately took on a dark color, but other than that, not much is happening. And let's take a closer look of this. As the time progresses, the solution gradually took on a yellow color. But the reaction is still rather slow. To speed things up, we are going to have to apply some heat. The beaker is then placed on a hot plate and the heat is switched on. Well, something is wrong. Let's check the connection. Well, everything is good. Adjust the heater to the low heat, as too much heat is going to degrade our product. And uh, let's stay there and wait. The reaction will become very violent. It's right about now. What is happening here is the nitric acid reacts with the silver, and it forms nitrogen dioxide, water, and the silver nitrate. Unlike most of the acid metal reactions, hydrogen is not generated. Because NO3 is a stronger oxidizer than hydrogen ion, which explains why the metals has a lower reactivity than hydrogen can be dissolved in nitric acid. For obvious reasons, this step must be done inside of thin hood. As the reaction dies down, we can already see some crystal precipitate out of the solution. And here is the beautiful white crystal of silver nitrate. The content in the beaker is then transferred into a brown storage bottle. As silver nitrate degrades when it is exposed to light, I opt not to dry the crystal, because when I was doing the synthesis, I was kind of running out of time. My flight back to Australia was just a few days away, and the drying process will probably take longer. So I decided to deal with it when I actually need to. My next video is going to be the synthesis of nitrocellulose. If you like my videos, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.